Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Making of a Dynasty. Um, the audio in this one's going to be a little off as when I was recording in Audacity I forgot to switch it to my Yeti. So it's through my Corsair Void headset, that's why it sounds different. So with that being said, it's time to clock in and enjoy the video. Here, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, stats here. I forgot to look at player stats before we ended the last video. So we have Ovechkin with 89 and Backstrom with 89. Vetchkin finishing with 54 goals. Then we got Backstrom with 50, or no, sorry, 89 points. I don't know why I said 50. Uh, Oshie with 72, so he actually did end up scoring a bit more assists there. Eller as a fourth line, I think he's on my fourth line, third or fourth liner. He still amassed 56 points, which is pretty good. Speaking of Burakovsky, only had 45. So. Burkowski proved me wrong at first, but uh, yeah, I definitely needed to have someone else up there with him. Then we have Kuznetsov with 32 points, Tom Wilson with 31. So, I mean, everyone contributed. I was hoping Athanasiu scored a little bit more. All right, so there's the points. In the Western Conference, we have the Blues and Jets, the Blackhawks and Sharks, Vancouver Canucks and the Edmonton Oilers. Kings and Flames, and then in the Eastern, we have us and the Hurricanes, Pittsburgh and Florida, Buffalo and Toronto, and Tampa Bay and Columbus. Let's sim up to the first game, and let's sim the uh, first round of the, or the first game of the first round of the playoffs. All right, so let's start the uh, first game up here. We'll just go period by period and see who scores and. See if we can't 4-0 this first round. Alright, it's so first period. No goal scored from either team. Second period, no goal scored from either team. Third period, we're going to increase sim speed and play it. We're just going to go through the entire game here. I'm only going to do this for the first game and the last game. And there's Oshi scoring the first goal of the game. 13... Or, uh, yeah, 13-48. And that will not be the only goal as Burkowski gets the empty netter. So that's the first game in the books here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the three stars. Holtby, Darling, and Oshi. Alright, so Carolina putting up a fight in that first game. Next game, no goals in the first period. Three goals in the second period. Smith, Pelly, Burkowski, and Ovechkin. In third period, they slam on two from Slavin and Skinner, and then we get another one from Ovechkin. So, Capitals win 4-2 that game. All right. So Carolina did better than us. Or, no, no, sorry. I read that wrong. I thought we were in Carolina at first. All right, so now we're going to Carolina. So, this could be a little more complicated. They'll have the uh, home ice advantage. You'll hear their fans chanting. And that gave them momentum. So Williams on Holtby, Rask. So we do get one from Ovechkin, but they end up scoring four. So Caps drop that one four to one. All right, next game. First period, no goals. Second period, each of us get one. Brown on Rask. And then they score two in the third period. Skinner and Aho. So we drop that one. We drop both games in Carolina. So so far it's home ice advantage. We've got home ice now. So let's go ahead and sim that. Let's check it out here. We've got Kuznetsov and Connolly scoring for the Carolina Hurricanes as Slavin. Second period, Hannafin ties it up. Third period, Rask and uh, Ovechkin. So we will be going to overtime this game. Second round, Smith Pelly. So we take that one 4 3 as well. Alright, so we have Teravainen and Lindholm scoring for the Hurricanes in the first period. Second period, we get Backstrom to score one. They have Stempniak. So third period, we can't score any. So the series is uh, tied up at three, I believe. Coming back home for a game seven. Alright, so first period. We got Eller, Vrana, Ovechkin, and Ovechkin with the goal from Falk. 
Second period, nothing. Third period, I forgot to slow sim. That's okay. McGinn and Manson. So Capitals win 5-2. And every team that had home ice advantage won that series. So that was that was a good that was a good series. I was hoping to make it shorter, but hey, we come out on top. Let's see who we face off against next. That would be the Pittsburgh Penguins. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, playoff tree here. We have St. Louis beating the Jets four to one. The Blackhawks getting shut out against the Sharks zero to four. Canucks losing one to four against the Oilers. Kings winning four to one against the Flames. And in the Eastern, we have the Capitals beating the Hurricanes 4-3. The Pittsburgh Penguins shutting out Florida 4-0. Buffalo beating Toronto 4-3. And Tampa Bay shutting out Columbus 4-0. So now it's us against Pittsburgh. The Flames, sorry, the Lightning against the Sabres. The Kings against the Oilers. And Blues and Sharks. So let's, so let's go ahead and get the uh, next game underway here. Alright, so let's sim the first period here. No goals scored. No goals in the second. And the third, Verona. So we shut out the Penguins 1-0. I believe we are in Pittsburgh, right? Yeah. Game 2. We've got no goals in the first. Kunako in the for the one goal in the second period and Gensel and Ovechkin so we dropped game two two to one but still a pretty good performance hopefully Holtby can stand strong and wait for our offense to start sprouting out here in the playoffs Gensel. so we lose four to one and the Washington Capitals get eliminated in the second round of the playoffs all right so as you can see the playoffs have ended the Stanley Cup champions for a third time in a row are the Pittsburgh Penguins, and the Calder Cup champions are the Milwaukee Admirals. Alright, so here's the draft lottery results that I recognize. Uh, I, I'm not thinking of anyone at the moment. Alright, so center left wing and a right wing. I'm looking for left wingers, so let's go with the su Super Swede on the left wing, 17 years old. High top six forward potential. We scouted him eight times. Let's look at the other super sweet up here. We didn't scout him any. So we're going to go with Gortz. We're going to see he's a medium elite, which is very good for a late first round draft pick. All right, so I'm going to go for Braden Shen. Um, that's going to save me a little bit of cap space for now. Uh, Shen's got two years while Oshi oh, has seven. Uh, so Oshi will be returning to St. Louis. We'll be getting Shen, hopefully. And then since I did not resign Grubauer, since I don't have any money to afford him, I'm going to get Hutton and see if I can't. Since they both only have two years, that'll give me enough time to see how they do so I can either A, trade them, or B, try to get money to resign them. So let's uh, see if St. Louis accepts this, and they do. So we get Braden Shen, which is going to help us. Um, the Flyers are probably going to hate that trade because they traded him away to get him out and away from all the Eastern teams. But he's back, and hopefully he'll kick some ass for the Capitals here. I I don't think they're going to accept this trade, but uh, I thought it was worth a try. Oh my god, they actually did. Cool. So that'll free up a little more space. I got rid of Niskanen, which sucks, but I'm trying to... Uh, I guess rebuild the team from scratch at this point so uh, we're up to 30 contracts thank god got some goalies we're getting some depth here so let's try to move some more players and sign some of our uh, missing core players all right so let's all advance a couple days see who we sign all right so we got Roussel to sign Drew Shore accepted let's see if Dallas matches it and then Athanasiu yeah Decided to go with Columbus. That's fine. Then we got Hayes. So, all in all, pretty good run so far. I'm going to go see if there's any more centers that I can sign. Because I am lacking some of those centers that I had before. So, I will be right back. Alright, so for my left winger, I've chosen Phil DiGiuseppe. Just because he was 
uh, wanting one year low low money so uh, um, and look at what he said I think I can add a lot to the team that's destined for a good run in the playoffs so let's hopefully see if he can't uh, help the depth there and I re-signed Beagle um, he wanted a lot when I went to re-sign him and then I let him go to free agency and he wanted less so that's a nice little trick that I just used un inadvertently uh, Madison Bowie so those three right there and that's gonna help out our defense and our forwards a little bit alright so I'm going to offer a trade for Gustav Forsling with our fifth round um, I'm just at this point trying to fill in our defensive core for future stars or whatever so let's see if they accept nope trade rejected so we are going to offer a fourth they accept it so that works out in the long run now I'm just going to sign a couple of prospects that I drafted see if uh, any of them are high enough if they grew if they can uh, play in the NHL first year alright so I'm going to trade away Kuznetsov as he's a 83 overall at 7 million he's in his last year growth um, Dreisaitl is who I'm going for he's got a few years of growth yet he's uh, a little more but he's also an 87 overall so um, I'm gonna see if they'll accept this if not I'm gonna throw on a second round they might not even accept that second round so let's do this let's see if they accept that no nope, we're gonna have to choke up a lot more value so just gonna give up two first rounds and a second with Kuznetsov they don't even want that man another second Alright, three first round draft picks it is. That's a lot. Alright, let's see. Good God, y'all. There. That's a lot of value, but worth it. Alright, so I offered a contract extension to Gustav Forsling and he accepted. Um, we should be getting a few responses here in a couple days. I just signed a few. There's Nordstrom. Uh, Prince. Desjardins. I think that was it. But I was just looking to get some more uh, depth and stuff like that since I had a little bit of extra salary space so let's uh yep that should be it so let's sim up to the uh start of the preseason I'll see you guys there all right guys that's going to conclude episode three of making of a dynasty if you enjoyed the video leave a like leave a comment down below with how you think the team should turn out we made some pretty good signings pretty good trades so i think this is going to be the way washington capitals will make it farther into the playoffs so yeah guys it's time for me to clock out see you next time